Using a 13 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove our ground terminal nut here. Now go ahead and spin the terminal loose. Work that off and set it aside. Let's go ahead and loosen our positive terminal here. We'll go ahead and loosen and remove this here. Using an eight millimeter socket and extension, we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt here. This is our battery wedge or hold down block. Okay, to remove that, set that aside. Go ahead and grab our battery. Go ahead, lift it up, set it aside. We're gonna use our flathead screwdriver and we're gonna loosen up our intake tube clamp here or hose clamp. And loosen this one. I'm gonna move to the other end of the hose and we're gonna do the same on this hose clamp. Once that's loose, these two units need to come off. This hose should pull out. We have an electrical connector right here. You're gonna press down on the tab on the top. Pop that off. Let's go ahead and separate our air intake tube and set that aside. Let's go ahead and remove our harness from our crank sensor here. I'm gonna pinch on the tab on the back and lift up. Pop that harness off. There are two eight millimeter bolts holding this in place. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove these. Once you get both of those bolts out, that sensor should pop right off. Now our original sensor that is still on the engine is stuck on this sleeve right here. This sleeve right here actually inserts in and locks it into place. Ours is kind of corroded around there, so we're working on trying to get that out. Let's go ahead and work this out. We're just rocking it back and forth. And we get that part out. Now I'm just gonna use a small pick here to clean out the inside of where that component was. There's a little bit of corrosion in there that was causing our sensor to get stuck. So I just wanna scrape that out. Let's go ahead and install our sensor. And get that lined up. Let's go ahead and get our bolt started here. I'm just gonna go ahead and snug these bolts down. These have a metal sleeve between the nylon on the, or the nylon plastic. So I just wanna go ahead and snug that down into place. Line that up. Press that on. And you'll be able to hear that snap into place and install our upper intake tube. Once that's in place, let's go ahead and tighten down our hose, tighten down our hose clamps here. I'm gonna just snug those down. Once those are tightened down, Install our vacuum hose there. Install our sensor harness there. Let's 
lower our battery down in a position. Slide it over. Go ahead and position our battery hold down. Good there, line that up. Get our bolt dropped down inside there. Now this wedge is designed just to hold your battery down into the tray. So once you feel that start to snug down, we're pretty much good where we need to be. Feels good there. I'm gonna give our battery a good tug. And then let's hold it in good in place. Gonna install our positive battery terminal. Once we have that tight, let's go ahead and grab our negative terminal, pop that on. Let's go ahead and tighten down this side. Once it snugs down, you're all set. 